Hey everyone, let's unbox this Intrepid 8x10. Now, full disclosure, I had already opened the shipping box because I needed to pull some spare parts for my 4x5 out of there before filming this. When I opened it, I really expected the 8x10 to come inside of a separate box, much like the 4x5 did, and it didn't. And at first I was like, what? Where's my extra box? And then I thought, hey, I bought this for the camera not for the box. I'm actually kind of glad it didn't come with another box because that would have just made it more expensive and bigger and more expensive to ship. So good on Intrepid for just putting it straight into the shipping box for me. I was very pleased with that after a few seconds of uh, indignation. So you can see here I took some of the overwrap and dunnage out and now uh, what I'm doing is taping the lid to the tripod because it kept falling in front of the lens and uh, just taking the <laughs> would help if I actually held the box cutter without the razor right up against my, my hand. Yeah, but I'm just cutting the bubble wrap. I love this type of bubble wrap for unpacking because you just run the razor down at once. Everything pops and it makes it really easy to pull whatever is inside of it out. So here's the 8x10 itself packaged up as it, as it arrived at my door. And uh, in just a moment, I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to flip the rear screen around, although admittedly the framing on that part of it is not that great, and then how to collapse it as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into the setup and everything. So here we are setting it up. This is the 8x10 on a tripod, and the uh, to set it up, there are two sets of screws. You just unscrew loosen them a little bit. You don't want to take them all the way out, obviously. And then you just set it up to level and tighten them. There's the two at the bottom and then the two on the vertical support arms as well. And then we're going to pull out the front here and the front is attached to the focusing board by a quarter 20 uh, screw that just attaches right to that board, that plywood board that you can see that I'm about to screw this camera into, the front standard rather, into is what is used to actually focus the camera. There's a focusing knob on the back of the board. And it works exactly the same as the 4x5 Mark IV that I have as well. So if you're in any way familiar with the 4x5 Intrepids, this is gonna be an incredibly familiar interface. It's gonna be really easy to jump into if you decided to go into the 8x10 world. So here it is, that's how quickly I set it up. And that was the first time I set it up and it went together really nicely. Now, apologies for the terrible framing on this. There are two clips on top of the film back holder, or film holder, film back, film holder back. Anyway, you just lift those up and then pull the film, hold, film back out a little bit to rotate it to landscape orientation and then flip the clips back in. The first time I did it, I honestly thought I had broken the camera. It just was that jarring. It's not like my 4x5 that has a rotating back. Now to, to collapse this thing back to its uh, collapsed form, we're just going to do the exact opposite of the way we unpacked it. We'll drop the uh, front standard down a little bit because it's a little bit easier to adjust that when the whole thing isn't just flopping around. We're going to set it face down to uh, try and protect it a little bit. Un loosen up those, those four screws again. Now I found one thing that makes this very easy. It does not like to collapse unless I'm holding the front standard up against the rear standard. And doing that makes it easier to collapse. You can see me fiddling here trying to figure out why it is that this thing doesn't want to collapse. And then it realized, oh, well, hey, actually that makes it a lot easier. So that is the technique I use to collapse it and make it very easy to collapse. Now we're just going to retighten those four screws and it's going to be locked up and ready for storage or carrying in a way that won't damage or will protect it anyway, right? The bellows. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.